Good morning, folks. There he is. Isaac made landfall as a hurricane and has already dropped at least one tornado and is overflowing at least one levee. Real quick, Tropical Storm Kirk was named last night just in time for him to turn north and be of no concern. Coming back to Isaac on the infrared map, watch the area to the northeast of Isaac's rotation. We've had moisture flying out of the system and a lot was dumped on South Carolina. In fact, the two most interesting rainfall records yesterday were from Charleston. Three plus inches in 90 minutes is very impressive. Another big one here. Out of curiosity, does anybody know anyone in Baldwin, Alabama who can either verify this or confirm it's erroneous? This article discusses how they are learning about high atmospheric wind patterns by watching shuttle exhaust create noctilucent clouds. But all I heard was another example of how you need something up near space to make those clouds. And water evaporation isn't going to cut it. NASA claims another one of those mechanisms you might remember is meteor smoke, which makes up 3% of the clouds. I wonder how many people can comment the correct answer as to the primary source of the noctilucent clouds. I have dialed back reporting of our collapsing economy and our approach to World War III, mostly because the mainstream news is doing all the fear-mongering that's needed on that front, but even still, this one's hard to let go. Remember when they thought they'd fix their problems? <laughs> Moving on. We had a couple moderate quakes on the northern mid-Atlantic ridge yesterday, and a bit later to the east a 4.5 hit Sicily. It's kind of unusual. There are so many drowned dead rats in one Indian city that there are legitimate plague worries. In South Africa, more than 30 antelope have contracted anthrax and died. In the Bolivian capital of La Paz, authorities seized tons of uranium, not a figure of speech. There were 4,000 pounds. Virgin Islands have had such a quake uptick over the past four days, the officials are actually taking notice, over a hundred tremors. And this is sad, folks. Apparently there were some larger waves created from the seven-pointer off El Salvador. Now three people took minor injuries, but they did so while trying and failing to save the delicate turtle eggs that had just been laid there. It is expected 45,000 were destroyed. Last 24 hours of the sun, the bright white areas are sunspots, the active regions, and when we look at the magnetogram to check for flare danger, Earth magnetic connection is up here. Luckily, you see no big spots among the surface feature. This region on the south looks a bit more menacing. It does have a big spot, but it's not necessarily in the lead, and she's been quiet. This region turning in from the eastern limb, as you can see from her photo shoot two days ago, she's let it go to her head, and she's falling apart. The central dark area is yet another coronal hole that could strike us as early as tonight. Plasma filaments above and below to the right, and of course, the other plasma filament coming over the eastern limb behind it. That's the news, folks. Be safe.